solve for x. If 2 raised to power s multiplied by 3 raised to power x square is equal to 6. We want to know the value of x. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of s from this given exponential equation. 2 raised to power s multiplied by 3 raised to power s square is equal to 6. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have 2 raised to power s multiplied by 3 raised to power s square to be equal to 6. So this implies that 2 raised to power s multiplied by 3 raised to power s square equal to 2 raised to 6 can be expressed as 2 multiplied by 3. Then this implies that we have 2 raised to power s multiplied by 3 raised to power s square will be equal to 2 raised to power 1 multiplied by 3 raised to power 1 because 2 times 2, 2 is the same thing as 2 raised to power 1 and 3 is the same thing as 3 raised to power 1. Then this implies that by we have 2 raised to power s let's see over 2 raised to power 1 because this is 2 and this is base 2 then will be equal to 3 raised to power 1 over 3 raised to power s square. Now, this can be rewrite as we have 2 raised to power s minus 1 will be equal to 3 raised to power 1 minus s square. Let's take the log of both sides. This implies that we have log 2 raised to power s minus 1 will be equal to what? Log 3 raised to power 1 minus s square. Now, let's consider, let's use base 3. 3, base 3. So, this implies that we have s minus 1 log 2 base 3 will be equal to what? 1 minus s square log 3 base 3. Then log 3 base 3, this is cancel, which is 1. Huh? This implies that we have s minus 1 log 2 base 3 to be equal to 1 minus s square multiplied by what? 1. This implies that we have x minus 1 log 2 base 3 to be equal to 1 minus s square. Because if you multiply the whole of this by 1, it's going to give you 1 minus s square. This implies that we have s minus 1 log 2 base 3. Then if you bring minus s square to the other side, it becomes plus s square. Then plus 1, if it comes to the other side, it minus 1 equal to 0. We've just equate everything to 0. Now, this implies that from here, this one is s square minus 1. It's also 1 square. So that is different of 2 square. This can be expressed as s minus 1 log 2 base 3 plus s plus 1 into s minus 1 equal to 0. Something is common. s minus 1 is common. We, have, we can factor it out. This implies that we have s minus 1 into we are left with log 2 base 3 plus s plus 1 equal to 0 therefore therefore s minus 1 equal to 0 then 
S if you call to what? One. Or we have log two base three plus S plus one equal to zero. Now let's make S the subject of the formula. This implies that we have S to be equal to minus log two base three minus one. This implies that we have S to be equal to minus into log two base three minus one and plus one. It will now be plus one because we factor minus out. Then this implies that we have S to be equal to minus into log two base three plus one. I rewrite that, but one is equal to what? Log three base three. Then this implies that we have S to be equal to minus into log two base three plus log three base three. Then S will now be equal to what? In one of the law of logarithm, when you add up, you multiply. So we have minus into two log two times log three. If you call to what? Log C base three. Therefore, our final answer is S is equal to what? Minus log C is base three. Then we have the value of S to be what? S is equal to one and minus log C is base three. If you've enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.